everyone, my name's Cherie and I am one of Sadler's Wells dance artists and today I will be delivering a session uh, for you guys to do at home which will be on textures and environments. So we're going to be looking at going to places, thinking about in our imaginations, going to new and exciting places and how we move when we get there. All right. So it might be something you might have to think about moving somewhere where it's really cold and how would your body react? So we're gonna to have to use our imaginations and be a little bit creative, but there's no wrong way of moving and there's no wrong or right answers to my instructions. So you can do it however you want and I'm sure it will be fantastic. You can probably even come up with better ideas and better ways of moving than I can. So, First of all, we are going to stand up in your space and just check that it is clear and ready for moving. So if you can just move forwards a few steps and check that there's nothing in your way, nothing on the floor that you might slip or trip on. And then we're going to check to the side as well that there's nothing that I might knock off a shelf or that's unsafe for me to be moving around. Lovely and checking behind you, you can bring your arms out to the side, turn around and check that you're not going to knock anything over and it's lovely and safe for us to be doing our dance session in this space. Fantastic! Now that we've done that, we're going to start doing a short warm-up that we can do together because it's really important that our bodies are warm before we start moving. So first of all, let's start running on the spot, nice and fast, get those knees up, Good, get our heart rate working, and here we go, running faster. How fast can you go? Turbo, go, 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 go. Excellent, that's it, keep going. Use your feet. Very nice, warming up our ankles and our feet, warming up our knees and our bodies. Lovely, we're gonna just shake our hands out, shake them to the sides, shaking them up high. Lovely, and opening out our hands, opening out our fingers. Good, well done. And then from here, we're gonna reach up nice and high, touch your toes, reaching up, big stretches. Good, and again, lovely. One more, fantastic. We're gonna see if you can lift one foot up and shake out your leg. That's it, don't worry about keeping the balance too long. We're just gonna shake out our feet and our legs. Shake out the other leg. Good work. We're gonna try and lift one leg up and move our ankle around. And then on this leg, moving our ankle around. Well done, fantastic. And we're just gonna move our hips from side to side. Good job. And then making a big circle like you've got a hula hoop around your waist. And then reversing, going in the opposite direction. Fantastic, making a star shape, bringing your hands in the middle, wide legs apart. And we're gonna touch our foot from side to side. Or if that's a little bit tricky, you can touch your knee or your shin from side to side, that's it on your leg. And then we're gonna bend our knees side to side, just stretching out all our leg muscles, getting our joints ready for moving. Well done, we're gonna bend our knees down and straighten, bend and straighten, again, and one more, and then let's take some little jumps off the floor, lovely, checking your ankles and the rest of your body is warm, Shaking out your whole body, good. Taking your shoulders up and down, all the way up to your ears and down. And then gently taking your head from side to side. Good, put a nice big smile on your face. Well done. And then looking up and down to the floor. Good, like you're saying yes. Shaking your head yes. And shake your head no. Well done, shaking your whole body. Fantastic, so I think we're warmed up now. So we're gonna start with our first texture that we're gonna be exploring. 
So we can start just with the feet for now and then maybe we'll move down and see what it feels like for our whole body to be moving through this kind of feeling, this kind of environment. So if you need to close your eyes first, just close your eyes if it's going to help you imagine where you are for a second before we start moving. And the first one we're going to think about is moving through mud. So think about the colour of mud, that brown, sticky kind of substance. It might be sticking on your shoes. How high does it come up? Does it just come up to your toes? Does it come all the way up to your knees? All right, so I want you to just imagine how much mud there is and what kind of shoes you're wearing. Maybe you're wearing big welly boots that are gonna help you or maybe you've forgotten your shoes and you're barefoot and as you're treading through the mud, the mud is squelching through your toes. All right, so let's think first of all about moving through the mud and if it's difficult or if it's squelching, if you wanna make the noises and squelch and Good, so thinking about that squelchiness with our feet. Now I want you to imagine that the mud comes all the way up above your knees, all right? So the mud comes up to about here, okay, at the top of your legs. How difficult is it for you now to move your feet through the mud? Do you have to use the rest of your body <laughs> is it quite difficult for you to move your legs through the mud <sighs> and let's try this one the mud comes all the way up to here <sighs> oh it's so difficult good well done so that was us moving through the mud and that was quite a lot of effort all right, so next we're going to think about something a little bit softer, moving against water, moving through water. So maybe it's water that's just trickling down like a shower. And what does that feel like on your skin? Again, close your eyes if you want to imagine, thinking about maybe it's, maybe it's a cold shower. Maybe it's making your whole body very cold. Maybe it's running down your legs, running down your arms. How does that cold shower running down your face make you feel? What's it do to your body? What's it do to your movement? Good. And then maybe it's a warm shower. How does that warm water feel on your skin? Is it nice? Is it wrapping you up like a warm cuddle? Okay, good. And maybe it's the ocean and you're going through the sea. Maybe the water only comes up to your ankles or your lower leg. Have you ever been on a beach and you kick the water out of your way? You're kicking up the sand and it's fun and you can jump over the waves Let's try and jump over some waves together. Woo! Woo! Good. Woo! And then the waves whoa, start to get a bit whoa, higher. Okay, so there's big waves coming now. Maybe you have to duck under the waves. Whoa! Maybe you have to go underwater and then over, under, over. Think about your body taking the wave with you and then coming forward with the wave and taking it back and the wave is moving your body because it's so powerful whoosh 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 good maybe you can come down a little bit lower whoosh Whoosh, whoosh, 
whoosh. Good. Very nice. So that was our moving through the water. Fantastic. So however you did that, you don't have to copy my movement. However you felt, however your body was moving is perfect. Okay, the next texture we're going to look at is a really hot floor. So I don't know if you've ever seen videos of people where they walk over the coals, hot coals, and it looks like it really is hot on their feet, all right? So you have to move quite quickly maybe, you don't wanna burn your feet, or imagine your kitchen floor with tiles, something like that, concrete that's been under the sun and it's burning, burning hot. All right, so we're gonna stand up and we maybe you have to move quite quickly. Maybe you have to hop, try and stand on one leg so one foot doesn't get burnt. Stepping over, jumping. Don't want to get your feet. Maybe you're trying to go on your tiptoes or your heels so it doesn't get your whole foot. Ooh. Stepping over here. Try and find bits that are a little bit less hot that aren't going to burn your feet so much. Okay, maybe you have to jog a little bit. Ooh. Oh, I don't want this to burn my feet. Maybe you try to use your hands. Good. Give yourselves a clap. Very nice. Fantastic work. Lovely. Okay. So after we've done our hot coals, shake off that feeling. And the next one we're going to think about is going through the fog. All right. So this one, I don't know if you've ever been out in the fog. Sometimes it's a bit eerie. It's a bit scary. You're not quite sure. You can't see your house because when you put your arm out in front of you, all you can see is fog and mist and it's just grey. You can't see, especially if it's dark, you can't see the trees, you can't see the lights of anything. You can just see fog all in front of you. And you're trying to move through it to get somewhere, but you could move forwards and you might put your hand on something and go, I don't know what that is. can't see anything because it's so foggy. So we're going to try moving through the fog quite cautiously if you need to make any noises maybe you try to come down low see if you can see any better down low. Then you try to move the fog. Maybe you've got some wafting movements. Try and clear the air in front of you. Try and clear through the fog. And you find a space through the air it's so thick you can't see anything in front of you very good fantastic so that was our moving through the fog everybody we've got the last one to do which is moving on a frozen pond now nobody do this because it is so dangerous okay but if you've ever seen if you've been for a walk and you've seen a lake or a pond or a river or something like that and when it's really really frozen it's completely ice so you can't see the water running through the river if you've ever seen ducks they just sit and kind of they can't swim on it because it's just all turned to rock solid ice but we don't know how thick the ice is it might be thin so we're going to pretend that we're standing on the lake and we have to walk across very tense you do not want your foot to go through the ice into the water okay so let's think about how we might be walking on the frozen ice quite cautiously 
So you might have to move your whole foot. Maybe there's a crack. Do you bring your foot back? Try somewhere else. Or maybe you come down a little bit lower. Try maybe with your hand. Oh, the ice is cracking. Maybe you start to get a bit panicked. You start to go a bit faster. Maybe you try ice skating across here. And then you have to start going very quickly so that the cracks don't catch you. Well done. Lovely work, everybody. So well done. I'm sure you moved however you wanted. You didn't have to copy me, remember? Your own movement I'm sure was absolutely fantastic and if you want to take any pictures of you doing this video or any of the videos then um, we would love to see them all right so please comment if you have any uh, messages or if you really enjoyed the video or have any feedback and uh, I'll see you next time well done bye bye